Hi, boys and girls. We're going to read a book today. The book is called The Farmer Had a Little Pig. This one is going to be a song to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb by Susan Nicolosi. So first we're going to look at our picture and say, what do we see? What do we notice? Did you notice there was a pig on this page? Are you noticing the way that the outside of the the pig looks, the texture? Are you looking at the colors and notice the colors? Did you notice where the pig was? Did you notice the front of its face? Did you notice the ears and the eyes? Let's learn about pigs. All right, so here, are you seeing something? Are you noticing something? Did you notice there was one, two, three, four pigs? Did you notice where they were? Boys and girls, on a farm, you're going to find the pigs in a pen. Did you notice there is wood right here that makes a fence? Did you notice that where they're laying? Here, let so the farmer had a little pig. See it with me, friends. The farmer had a little pig, little pig, little pig. The farmer had a little pig who liked to live in a clean pen. Boys and girls, they want to keep it nice and tidy. They're more comfortable in those. Oh, here we go. What do you see? What do you notice? Did you notice there's a pig on this page? Hmm. Right away, I notice right here. That's, that's the pig's snout. And what the pigs do is they can smell even under the ground really, really well. Or they can smell really, really far in order to get the yummy things that they want to eat. So they have a, a great sense of smell. Now look right here. Let's look at their eyes. Do their eyes look big or small to you? They are kind of small, aren't they? So pigs have a great sense of smell, but can't see very well. Sing with me, friends. Pigs have a great sense of smell, sense of smell, sense of smell. Pigs have a great sense of smell, but can't see very well. Did you also notice where he's standing? And maybe you noticed there was another pig over here in the pig's tail. Oh, looky here. Look at this one. What do you see? What do you notice? Did you know what, notice the color of the pig? Did you notice the shape of his ears? Did you notice his, the texture on the outside of him? Does it look like he has skin? Does it look like he has fur? Pigs are mammals, so they have they do have they do have hair or they do have fur. Did you notice his small eyes again? What happened to his snout? Right here, this word right here is snout, and pigs are, use their long snout to search for food. Well, that's good because we just learned that they can smell really, really well. This word might look very familiar to you. We have learned about it because we've talked about other animals. And this word is omnivores. Hey, we're omnivores too. So we eat both plants and animals. Sing with me. Pigs use their long snout to search for food. Search for food. Search for food. Pigs use their long snout to search for food. They are omnivores and eat most anything. I've been told pigs are not picky eaters. 
What do you see? What do you notice? You notice one pig is very big and one pig is very small. Do they look the same? Even though one's big and one's small, do you notice, do they both have a snout? Do they both have eyes in the same shape? Are their ears the same shape? How about their color? Is it the same? Yeah, all those things are really similar. So uh, pigs are mammals, and when they have their babies, their babies look like them. This one is the female pig, and the female pig is called a sow, and this is the female pig's young, and the, and the young are called piglets. So one is called a piglet. Here we go. Sing with me. A female pig is called a sow, called a sow, called a sow. A female pig is called a sow, and its young is called a piglet. A male pig is called a boar. Hmm, what do you see, what do you notice in this picture? Did you notice he was in the mud? Did you notice this pig has mud all over himself? I did too. Well, the reason that the pig is in the mud is because pigs are not capable of sweating. So right here, pigs can't sweat at all so they roll in the cool mud. Boys and girls, when you go to the playground and run around, you're going to get all sweaty. Your head gets really, really sweaty. Well, that sweat is super important. It actually makes your body cool down. So when you're running around and having fun outside, that you, your body doesn't get too hot. It, ke it, it likes to cool you down. And they can't do that, so they get in the cool mud, and doing that is going to make them feel cooler. It's going to take the heat, and the heat goes into the mud, and then it can dry and gum off of them. The other thing the cool mud is going to actually do is it's going to all the dirt that might get on the pet, the pig and things they don't want it on the pig. Maybe some insects landed on the pig and they um, and they'll roll in the mud and all those things will come off. So this we're gonna sing together. Ready? Here we go. Pigs can't sweat at all, can't sweat at all, can't sweat at all. Pigs can't sweat at all, so they roll in the cool mud. What do you see and what do you notice? Who's, whose foot is this? It is a pig's foot. What kind of foot do we call this? Is this a paw? No, it's not a paw. It's a hoof. And then tell me, what do you notice over here? Did you notice it was another pig? What are you noticing about their, this part right here? Oh, it does. It has a curly tail. Well, this, this animal has four hooved feet and a small curly tail. Sing with me, friends. Pigs have four hooved feet. Four hooved feet, four hooved feet. Pigs have four hooved feet and a small curly tail. What do you see? What do you notice? Are they all the same size? No. Are they all the same color? No. So pigs come in many colors and sizes and have bristly hides. So they're, they don't have soft hair like you have. Um, it's more of a fur, but it's very, it's very thick. So don't think of 
of like your hair, but think of kind of like our paintbrushes, the tip of our paintbrush. So it's not going to poke you, but it's going to look really thick like that. Sing with me. Pigs come in many colors and sizes, many colors and sizes, many colors and sizes. Pigs come in many colors and sizes and have bristly hides. They can weigh between 300 and 700 pounds. What do you see? What do you notice? Did you notice some more pigs? I knew you would. This one's running. Pigs can run seven miles per hour. And this pig over here is drinking water out of a trough. Oh, look at that. They can drink up to 14 gallons of water a day. You have to go to your mom and dad and ask them to show you what one gallon will look like. And then think about a pig is going to have 14 of those in one day. Boys and girls, help me sing. Pigs can run seven miles per hour, seven miles per hour, seven miles per hour. Pigs can run seven miles per hour and drink up to 14 gallons of water a day. What do you see? What do you notice? Are you noticing some bacon? Did you also notice this, this kind of pork is called ham? And boys and girls, the farmer's going to raise their pigs so that we can have pork and it can go to the grocery store and we can buy it. So pigs give us lots of pork such as bacon and ham. Sing with me, friends. Pigs give us lots of pork, lots of pork, lots of pork. Pigs give us lots of pork, such as bacon and ham. Good job on your story today, friends.